good morning from Disney's Old Key West. The golfers are out for their morning tea times, and I am enjoying my morning coffee here on the balcony. I really have to say, I loved this room. I loved the resort. It was quiet, relaxing. I loved the view. Disney's Old Key West is definitely on my top five best Walt Disney World resorts. I had to do a quick change. We just checked in to our second Disney resort this week, Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I have always wanted to stay here. I just walked in and I'm just saying this right now. This is the best Disney hotel room I have ever, 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 ever stayed in. Let me show you the room. Room 2115. Just look at the space that we already have. Right when we walk in, we have our closet, have my luggage next to the closet. You have your mini kitchen. Now this is a deluxe studio here at Wilderness Lodge, but it really feels like a one bedroom. And I'll show you why. We have our sink, coffee maker, microwave, coffee, tea, cups, utensils, toaster, the refrigerator, really good size, lots of storage. There's the trash can. Nice. Oh, that is awesome for your snacks. This is a joining room, but nobody is staying next door. And here's a look at the living room area. Really nice. A huge 55 inch TV, dresser, USB plugins, our couch. This does pull out into a full size bed, maybe a queen. Our phone, a hidden Mickey, but look at the space. It does not feel like a studio at all. More USB plugins. Show you the bathroom. First, you have these beautiful sliding doors. The theming, very awesome in this room throughout the resort. Look at that. Turn on the light here. Look at the space. I mean, holy cow. Here's the shower. Oh, I love this. I want this in my home. Oh yes, we have a rain shower. Oh my goodness. Plenty of storage. And then coming back out, if we turn left, we have the bedroom. This room is massive. We have a dining table. Also, I love how there's plenty of windows for the sunlight. Really nice queen size bed. Also, you can put your suitcases under the bed. Another dresser. Another massive 55 inch TV in the bedroom. Wow, plenty of space. Okay, let me show you guys the balcony. And here's the balcony. It's a little small, but the view is what counts. We are staying on the ground floor, which is the floor that the main lobby is on. So that's really cool. And the main pool right in front of us. And then also if we walk right out of our door, there's another door that will take us right outside to the pool. So very convenient. And also we don't have any neighbors over here. I just really love this room. 
It is so spacious. I'll tell you guys one thing. If I was buying into DVC, I know I said this at the Riviera Animal Kingdom Lodge, but I think I really mean it. If I was to buy, I think I would consider Wilderness Lodge to be number one. I mean, if we look outside, it doesn't even feel like we're staying at Disney. The theming just ties in so well. Let me know what you guys think of this room down in the comments. This is a nice change. And change is good. By the way, welcome to day two of our week Disney fun staycation. This video is going to be a fun one. And before I carry on with today's video, I just want to say a really big, a massive thank you to Sharon for providing this beautiful Disney hotel room. She was unable to use her DVC points for the year, so she reached out and said, hey, go have a Disney stay, go have fun, go make a really good video and continue the good work. So Sharon, thank you so much. Sometimes you just need to change things up. And that's what we're doing today. Like I had mentioned earlier, my room is right here and there's a doorway that will take you directly to the pool. Our room, right back this way, and then look at this. Just like that, we are now inside the main lobby. Now, I have already done a full resort tour. I believe it was about a year or so ago. I'm not gonna give you guys a full tour this time. I mean, I'm going to show you some of the resort, but if you want more information, I'll leave that link to the video down in the description. Bianca just got here. I'm going to meet her in the main lobby, bring her in, go have some lunch, and then head to the Magic Kingdom. I would like to also add, this is my favorite resort lobby on property. It reminds me a lot of the Grand California at Disneyland, but look how empty it is right now. The main desk right here, this is where you'll walk in, Whispering Canyon Cafe. Look who I found in the main lobby. Hi. <laughs> what do you think of the room? I absolutely love it. You're right. It is the best. I love told it. you. And I was under the impression that it was a one bedroom because when I walked in, it looked like it, but it's a studio. Yeah. So I was happy. I liked it. This room is amazing. Okay, let's go eat. Yes. If we look real close, right in the middle of the screen, that's our hotel room. Since we are staying at Wilderness Lodge, I had to come to my favorite quick service slash restaurant slash lounge geyser point and look at this view that we have and that was reflections right over here the new dvc resort but from everything i've been hearing that has been paused our lunch has arrived i went with the bison bacon cheeseburger with waffle fries and bianca went with the turkey sandwich yes with kettle chips Looks like the boat transportation is running from Wilderness Lodge over to the Magic Kingdom. As always, the food is so good here. I highly recommend that bison cheeseburger. Did you like the turkey sandwich? It was amazing. She says it was amazing. <laughs> and also, I really love the view. And also, this is technically outside. So it makes the experience a little more enjoyable because of the current time. We are now heading to the Magic Kingdom and I wanted to show you guys they have ground markers leading up to the boat. And one just arrived. Perfect timing. Hopefully we miss this rainstorm that's coming in.
we can see a little bit of that new walkway that will connect the Grand Floridian to here at Magic Kingdom. But I showed you guys this last time. This is the new bag check area for boat transportation. So when this is done, this is where we will have our bags checked, our temperature scans, and then head inside Magic Kingdom. But now they have a little pop-up tent for bag check and temperature screenings. It's looking pretty good. It's gonna be really big right outside the monorail station. We made it to Disney's Magic Kingdom. I will say, it's pretty quiet. It's dead. That's good. Yeah. I'm here for really one thing only, the Haunted Mansion Funko Pop that was released today. Hopefully they still have some left and I've been hearing they've been releasing a few more Haunted Mansion pieces of merchandise. So let's go in here and check it out, have some fun. Look at this. It is empty. We have Gaston coming, Pooh, Peter Pan, and Alice. Oh yes, they have them. Only a few more left. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me one. Wow, the Emporium is decorated for Halloween along with the new Halloween merchandise. Look at this villain's button up. Has all the classic villains like Hades, Ursula, Dr. Facilier, Maleficent. I found the Halloween pins. Look at Mickey. Have many. Ooh, I may need this goofy one. Pluto. Mickey and Minnie Pumpkins. Look at this Ursula t-shirt. They have way more sizes in the Haunted Mansion Spirit jersey here inside the Emporium. They also have the new Hocus Pocus Spirit jersey. I like that a lot. What's the front? Ooh. Also, check out these new Nightmare Before Christmas ears. Has Oogie Boogie, Jack, Zero. How fun. All right, it is starting to rain a lot, so we're just gonna cut our losses and head back to the room. Let's go check out the gift shop. Here in the gift shop, they have everything you may need while you're here on vacation. Beer and wine, apple pie moonshine, beverages, milk, and then if you have any sort of emergency, like we did, we forgot toothpaste here in the gift shop. Disney is offering the 30% off Minnie Mouse ears for the Summertime Fun Collection and the Americana Collection. Plenty of hand sanitizer and Disney face coverings. I am now on my balcony watching the geyser go off right now. You guys hear that? But it is still raining outside. Ooh, it is going off right now. Anyways, it is still raining outside. It's raining pretty heavy right now. I had planned on going to the pool with the GoPro, but then I remembered to myself, there's something a little different today. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's the geyser right in front of us. It is still going off. And then here's the pool. It's a really nice sized pool. And then right in the middle, there's a splash area for your little kids. The spa and the salon right there. And then geyser point is behind the spa. The pool is still open during the rain. The only way the pool will close if there's lightning in the area. We just made it back to the room from Disney Springs. We went down there to do some shopping. We had a crepe and we really just enjoyed the evening with each other. I did not film, but I've been trying to find this Haunted Mansion Magic Man that was released the other day and I can't find it anywhere. 
But guys, let me talk about this Disney hotel room. And I'm not joking when I say this. I mean it. This has truly been the best hotel room I have ever stayed in. The best Disney hotel room I've ever stayed in. I love it so much. I love the experience. I love the vibe, the cast members, the location, everything. I have nothing bad to say about this hotel room, about this resort. It is awesome. And I've been looking into buying into DVC and I hope to do that sometime soon. Maybe next year, but sometime soon. I think it will be here at Wilderness Lodge. Now, I love the Riviera. That was my favorite until today. Riviera is still my second favorite, but I think my first would be here at Wilderness Lodge. Hopefully this video kind of shows you guys why I love it so much and why I recommend it. Now, it is on the pricier side of the hotels here at Disney. But if you can, if you have the extra points or you have the extra money, spend one night. Just one night here at Wilderness Lodge, and you can thank me later. And before I let you guys go, yes, I did change up my hair. I went platinum. This is something I've always wanted to do, but I never could do because I've always had a job that wouldn't allow me to have a crazy hair color or a crazy hair design. And now that I do YouTube full time, it was the perfect time. I woke up the other day and I thought to myself, I need a change. I need to freshen my life up. And this new haircut was the perfect way to kind of kickstart that change. I love it. I think I look pretty dang good myself. I know Bianca loves it. You know, my message to you guys out there, don't be afraid to do something crazy. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to freshen yourself up. And if you have always wanted a new haircut or a new hair design, go out and do it. Now is the time. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Nobody's going to judge you. And if people do judge you, who cares? But thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. This week has been very fun. Very, very fun. Very blessed. Tomorrow, we are going back to Hollywood Studios for another Disney media event, which I am super excited about. Thank you guys again for all the love, support, comments, likes, dislikes. It all means so much to me. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel in so many different ways. If you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you always be notified when I upload a new video or even go live. Make sure you're following me along on Instagram and check out all my links down below. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. I ain't feeling lonely And I wanna make it start to end the right Fading it too slowly Where those gonna lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me Am I reading something different from your eyes?